If you started shrinking one centimeter every second, well, in 10 seconds, you'd be down 10 centimeters. You'd feel springy. Your weight would drop faster than your muscle force. In 60 seconds, well, you'd be 60 centimeters shorter. You would speak in a higher voice due to your shorter vocal cords. You'd get a cold faster and even a breeze could tip you over. Your cat would now look like a tiger. Two minutes and 30 seconds in, you'd be around 30 centimeters tall, about cat sized, but lighter, so jumping off a table wouldn't break you. By two minutes and 50 seconds, you'd have shrunk to around 10 centimeters. Dust would now look like boulders. Carpet fibers would feel like a forest. At three minutes, you'd be barely one centimeter tall. Ants would tower beside you like monsters. A dust mite would seem the size of a dog. At four minutes, you'd have slipped down to about a hundred micrometers, the width of a human hair. The air would feel thick and syrupy. Your eyes would be too tiny to focus and the world around you would start to blur into a haze. Now, at six minutes, you'd be cell-sized. A red blood cell would look like a flying disc and white blood cells would be grabby, built to engulf invaders. Don't let them tag you. At nine minutes, you'd be on a molecular scale. You'd be smaller than a wavelength of visible light. The world would just be vibrations. At 10 minutes, you'd be at the atomic scale. Welcome to quantum weirdness. Classical physics, movement, and vision would be meaningless here. By shrinking one centimeter per second, you wouldn't just get tiny. You would switch entire worlds. The smaller you go, the stranger it would feel because 